Hello and welcome to History Pod. If you'd like to join my other valued supporters who help to keep the daily episodes like this being researched, recorded and released, you can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Alternatively, please consider leaving a rating or a review on iTunes, Stitcher or Google Play or click to like the History Pod Facebook page. On the 18th of May, 1830, British inventor Edwin Budding went into partnership with foundry owner John Ferraby to manufacture the world's first lawnmower. Edwin Budding grew up near the Gloucestershire town of Stroud, where he often saw teams of labourers using scythes to manually cut the lawns of the landed gentry. The labour-intensive nature of this work would later inspire him to create the ubiquitous lawn-mowing machine. Having begun work in an iron foundry as a pattern maker, Budding came across a mechanical napping machine created by John Lewis in 1815 that was used to trim fibres from the surface of woven cloth to produce an even finish. Later developments to this machine used a cylindrical cutting blade that directly influenced Budding's lawnmower design. Powered by a large iron roller and a series of gears that span the cutting cylinder close to a knife plate, Budding's mower was pushed from behind. A second roller could be adjusted to alter the cutting height while the clippings were flung into a collection box at the front. On the 18th of May, Budding signed an agreement with John Ferraby, owner of the Phoenix Ironworks at the nearby town of Thrupp, to manufacture the machine. One of the first models was sold to Regent's Park Zoological Gardens in London, where the head gardener reported that the new lawnmower allowed two men to do as much work as six or eight men with scythes. Ferraby subsequently licensed other manufacturers to produce budding mowers, while budding returned to inventing. He went on to create the first adjustable spanner in 1842.